Hey guys, Goose with Newbie Drone here, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Crossfire Nano Receiver on our brand new Hummingbird flight controller. First thing we'll do is take our flight controller out of its box, pull him out like this, and then we're going to want to get the little pin that comes with the flight controller right here. I'm going to unplug the camera for the installation process. Here on the Crossfire Nano we're using, on the very end where the square pad is, that's going to be our ground. After that is going to be our 5 volt and then channel 1 and channel 2. This may be different on some different versions or earlier versions of the Crossfire Nano, so make sure you check your wiring diagram before you do this as it may be different than the one I'm using in this video. If you notice on the Hummingbird flight controller, our ground pad is also square, so that should be really easy to match up if you're using the current Crossfire Nano we sell on our site right now. On the Hummingbird flight controller, it goes ground, power, RX1, and TX1. So to properly line up this receiver with our flight controller, just remember the square pad is going to line up with our square pad which is the ground so we'll have to take the crossfire nano receiver and we're going to actually have to flip it over so it's facing upside down and it will mount like so but don't worry if it's a brand new crossfire nano receiver for you it automatically goes into binding mode otherwise all you got to do is push the button once after you power it on and it's fairly easy to get to with a pair of tweezers. Our first step will be getting this pin connector that comes with your Hummingbird flight controller and we're going to trim it down so it fits better. So I'm just going to take this and trim a little off the bottom right there as so. So I have about that much sticking out and then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And there you can see I have it pretty even. I'll just place it in the flight controller like so and set it down. Grab my soldering iron and some solder and then I'll just solder that up real quick. you've got all those pins soldered in place and flowed evenly, go ahead and flip it over and now we can put on the Crossfire receiver. But before you solder it on there, let's go ahead and clip on the UFL antenna because that will be much harder once it is on already. After we've got the antenna mounted, grab some of the heat shrink that comes with your receiver. We want to cut a little bit off and place it on there so we can shrink it after we've soldered on the pin so that way none of this bridges and shorts out to the chips on the top of the flight controller. Flip this guy over place him down. We can move the heat shrink to the side right now because we can shrink it in a little bit. Line up the pins like so and then solder the pins in place. After you're done shrinking it, it should look something like this. Very nice and clean and it is covering the top of the UFL connector so it's not bridging to anything on the actual flight controller board. So now let's grab a battery and test to make sure this is installed correctly. Plug it in. Okay, and you can see the green LED right there on the crossfire is blinking rapidly in green, meaning it is getting power. So that's how you install the Crossfire Nano Receiver on the Hummingbird flight controller. Everything else in terms of the build is the same as all the other stuff. The only thing different is you're going to flash the Crossfire firmware on this instead of Eversky or DSM. I will have the link for the Crossfire firmware as well as the Crossfire Nano Receiver to buy on our store in the video description. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.